Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today we are back with uh, another tutorial on Kubernetes. So in this tu tutorial we will see how we can define a service in Kubernetes using a uh, manifest CML file. Okay? So uh, if you have seen my previous tutorial, we have created an nginx pod using a pod manifest CML file. Right? So we have written the whole uh, pod uh, manifest file. I will show you uh, in this tutorial as a recap what file we have written. We'll just go through it. And after that, we will make use of uh, uh, another uh, file which is will be used for to create a service. Okay. And in that service manifest file, we'll be using a selector to call those pods uh, which are created from nginx. Okay. So then uh, once the service is created, we should be able to access the nginx from uh, uh, outside network. Okay. So before I start, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, like this video, share and comment. So in order to start, I have a machine where I have a mini cube set up. So if you don't know how to set up mini cube, please check the video description. I have linked the, the, the uh, video for how to set up a mini cube. Okay. So if you see my mini cube uh, status should be able to see the type control plane host running right and also if you see cube uh, ctl get uh, ctl cluster info you can see the control plane and uh, dns is running as well right so we are going to uh, create uh, the manifest file here and then we'll create the pod okay so before that, I will just show you the files in the Sublime Text Editor. So this is the pod manifest file. Okay, so if you have seen uh, the file in the last tutorial, it's uh, API version v1 and the kind is a pod. Okay, it's not a service and they have a metadata, which is the name is nginx, the pod name is nginx and we have given a labels, uh, which is a key value pair. So I have said the environment as dev and app as nginx. Okay. So we will see more about labels in the upcoming tutorial, but we'll be using this label when we creating the service. Okay, so that's based on that only we will use the selector and the specs. You know, we are using a container uh, nginx latest image and the port uh, 80 and it's a TCP port. Okay, so now if I go to the service manifest file, it's almost uh, similar how we return for the port. Okay. The kind, uh, the difference is like the API version is same, but the kind is a service. Okay, that's the main difference. Uh, here, if you see, it's the kind is a pod, and here it's a service, right? So we are creating a service. Okay, and the metadata name you can give anything. So I'm going to give nginx service. Now in the specs section, I'm using something called selector, and I'm using a key value pair here. It's an app nginx. So if you see in this pod, uh, I have created as app nginx. Okay, you can also use the key value like environment dev. So what it does is this service will look for all the pods which is using this uh, key value pair, and it will select those pods and it will be mapped to you know this service. Okay, and the type I'm going to use a node port, and the ports uh, the protocol is TCP, and the port is 80. And the one thing you have to make a uh, note is the node port. Okay, this is something new, right? So I'm giving a port number as 31050. Okay, it's about 30,000. Okay, so uh, why I'm giving this port number is because once you create the service, this port will be the one which will be used to access from outside. Okay, so usually, you know, if you, when you create normal port, it will randomly give them some port number, but if you set this uh, here in the manifest file this will be a static port number okay so when you create this port uh, uh, the service this uh, port number will be mapped to it okay and the target port is the nginx web port okay now let's see we copy these uh, uh, two files into the uh, mini cube and then we'll try to create a port and also a service okay so if i go to my mini cube uh, already I have this pod manifest file which I have uh, used in the previous uh, tutorial okay so if you see this is the same uh, file API version pod nginx right and uh, things uh, if I go to kubectl get pods uh, I don't have any pods running so uh, let me create a, a pod first okay so I will use uh, kubectl create hyphen app and the pod manifest file okay so you can see the pod nginx is created okay so let me uh, check the ports again okay so you can see the port is running okay 
Now oh, let me clear out the screen and let me see kubectl get svc. You see there it's only the basic uh, cluster uh, services running, right? Uh, you don't have any other service running. So let me create uh, the service with uh, our manifest file. Okay, for that I will create a file first. I will call this a service manifest.yaml. Okay, and uh, let me enter the uh, YAML file here. So let me copy this content from here and let me paste it to the file. Okay, so let me save this. So uh, we have the file created here, service manifest file. Okay, let me create the service now. It's kubectl create hyphen f and the service manifest file. Okay. So now you can see uh, it has created a service as well. Okay. Now let me uh, describe this service kubectl describe service and the service name is nginx uh, service. Okay. You can see the details, right? You know, the name is NGNX service and the type is node port, okay? IPs and also, you know, it's, uh, this is the endpoint IP, okay? And uh, node port is 31050, which we have uh, uh, given it in the, you know, the YAML file, right? Okay, so if I see kubectl get SVC, you can see the NGNX service is running, right? Uh, and in order to access this service from outside, you can check uh, Minikube. So you can uh, Minikube service and the service name, okay? So it should be nginx service and hyphen hyphen URL. So this is the URL where you can access uh, this service, okay? So if I copy this and go to my browser, okay? And if I access this you can see welcome to nginx right so now uh, this service nginx is exposed to the outside network you can also use it like curve and you can uh, check this okay so you can see this content is here right so that's how it's simply you know you can create a pod and then you can map uh, that to a service so if you see the selector it will use all the ports which are created with that selector into this service okay so if you want to delete, you can just kubectl uh, delete service in GNX service. Okay. So you can see it's deleted. So now if you see kubectl get SVC, the service is deleted, right? The same way you can delete for uh, the port at so kubectl delete port in GNX. You can see the pod is getting deleted so that is all i wanted to show like you know you have you can create uh, the ports and service using your manifest file so this is a sample uh, you know api uh, uh, version one kind service metadata right the selector this is very important okay and the uh, node port which we are setting so if you want to set a static node port this is the best way to do it okay, and this is the port manifest file uh, so I'll give you the link for uh, all these files from my GitHub location, so you can just copy it from there. So that is all I wanted to show in this uh, quick tutorial. So I hope uh, this uh, tutorial is informative for you. And uh, thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video, share and comment.